What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we got a banger, all right? It's old, right? It's like a year old, but it was brought to my attention by one of my viewers, all right? Now he roasted me and then was like, hey, have you checked this out? Can you do a review on this kind of, all right? So it's this phrase box uh, venom mode, or it's a phrase arpeggiator. Um, hopefully I got all that right. We're gonna check that out today, but before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You know, we do reviews of VSTs and plugins. This one's gonna take a while, okay? It is hard to get over the learning curve, but with me helping you get over that learning curve and then you going to explore, you'll be just fine, all right? It is um, 49, I guess that's Euro, so maybe like 50 to 60 bucks, okay? It is like a, um, a MIDI generator. A melody generator okay so we're gonna check that out here's the website I'll put the link in the description and here's the fray look <laughs> 548 you're not in key thank you my man <laughs> what about venom mode phrase box are you tested I don't know what that means but I assume he means have I tested out so we're gonna test it out today. let's go to FL studio check it out okay so we're in FL studio I'm going to show everything that you need. Okay, how I set it up. First, you pick a tempo that you want, right? I'm at 104, let's say I was doing an R&B or whatever, hip hop, whatever. You're gonna open up a phrase box, right? And then you're gonna open up two of the same VSTs or whatever VSTs you wanna use. But first thing you do, you go to phrase box and you're going to go, if you're in FL Studio, I don't, you gotta check the site for other ones, right? You're gonna put, phrase box on output one and make sure you have this GUI check properties and invalidate editor all of that all right phrase box output one that's the first thing then I chose purity it's just easy on the CPU it doesn't have the best sounds but you know it's, it's doable your VST input one okay now you're gonna go into phrase box and you're able to create a chord let's create like a, a, a C minor chord let's go here C minor let's go harmonic minor just for the fun of it it's gonna now phrase box has no sounds let me say that again phrase box has no sounds all right but you need a chord or some kind of chord to start off right all right. And then just set the tone from there. All right, and I'm just going to. Right, so you got a chord progression going on phase box, and then you got the, whatever sound. I have some key or whatever it is. That's what it's playing. So now phrase box is going to play this. Now here is a uh, phrase box. It has everything that you need. I'm in, um, let's go to C harmonic minor and it's going to play. Now it's going to play the melody. Okay. It's going to play the melody, but you can change it up here, whatever you want, special piano, whatever. And it'll change like that. If you want it to go faster, you pick a lower speed or 120, 1, 128th. You want it to go slower with the melody, you pick up here. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at 116th and see what it does. It's playing the actual melody instead of the chord progression, right? You can add steps, you can do all that, you can generate new stuff all right so let's go through this because i know it's a lot to intake so first let's get a good sound going that we like right <laughs> That's, that's doable. If you go down, it'll play down. 
Go up, you. It'll play up, right? Okay. Here's the beauty of it. Now the reason the sound, you know, you might not like the sound because of the scale. So let's go into um, this C natural minor, and then we'll go here. C natural minor. Make sure everything's in. you can go ahead and just save the loop however you want it to be all right and you can go in here and you can get the where it's fixed that you can random the velocity you can randomize the velocity more you can randomize it you can transpose it you can add swing to it You can even go in here and you can change even more details of it. All right, I'm going to do a lot of videos on this, right? So, and then with these parameters, you can also go in and go to new phrases. also have where you can go down here and you can just create different things if you like you can do that with each one pitch bend you can go through and just mark it up all you want all right you want a mono decay it has it you want to randomize some more So I think it's a unique way to get different melody ideas. Now, how do you get these ideas to transfer out? Okay, well, there's also another feature. I'm going to use these gonna type of MIDI and to show you. If you have MIDI, not all MIDI works, but if you have some MIDI, you can take the MIDI and drop it in here. Now, sometimes you can load it into the piano roll, and sometimes it'll say unable to read. It's just too much going on, right? But what you can do is you can generate new sequences. So now I have this new melody sequence and drag it to your DAW. And then just press accept. So now you have and it should be in key. When you look at it, it should be in key. It automatically does that for you, gets you in key. So, so when you listen to it, let's say you wanted to have this here. And it'll create different melodies for you. This is the this is the the key part to it. Coming up with your own chords and then getting a random melody. Now I need to dive in more, and I will make more videos. But let me just show you again from scratch what I mean by that. So let's cut this. Let's cut this, and then let's go back here to Facebook. So we're going to go here. Let's say we have a uh, chord progression. Going to get a new, and then we're going to drag it on over 
hit accept. And then you can just copy the melodies over if you choose to. And you can also set different parameters again within that. All right. And then here's some more like the presets are crazy. You can get some some baseline presets if you just want some baseline presets. But it is crazy, especially with the randomized tool to see what comes out of it. You can come over some crazy, crazy combinations that you would know, you would never think about in your own mind. All right, so this is just one. I'm gonna do some more over time. Um, I'm still working with it, but it's not anything new. It's not anything new. It's not anything new. It's been out, but I don't think it's got a lot of attention, especially that you can use in the hip hop world, in the R and B world, or the trap world. So yeah, I'm about to turn it up with this. And um, there's some more out there. There's some more AI generators out there. But here's just one more for you. Uh, Venom mode, phrase box 1.2 or something like that. All right. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Are you interested in this or is it just trash? Would you buy it or deny it? Let me know in the comments. I take no offense to it. As you see, I took the feedback and I tested it out for you. So hopefully this helps you out. Make a decision on it for 50 bucks. You know, if you don't like Scalar or if you don't like uh, Captain Chords, Epic, or whatever the case may be. Until next time, put up your 10,000 shots or 10,000 hours, whatever comes first. Make a beat today. Stay creative. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Peace.